Alright, today's video is, don't pay attention back there, today's video is how to draw a pistol and a hand grenade. Um, alright, what you'll need is a pencil, preferably sharp, or sharpish, something straight, which is for the, uh, pistol and piece of paper. Um this is what they look like. And you can uh experiment with uh different looks for them. Uh let's get started. First I'll do the pistol and straight edge is optional. So, just put it where you want. Make a line like that. Make another one about about an inch to three quarters of an inch uh, long going down you, one like that and then keep it straight by using your straight edge to go back across make a diagonal line on the back and one going down It'll look like this all right um make like a cylinder shape on the end for the uh, barrel like this and uh, you make a hammer like that on the back um then you want to make about six or seven lines or how many ever you want going over to the back and one over the top and like that that it will be the uh, grip to pull it back in the pocket um, somewhere in the middle of the barrel or the top you want to take and draw three quarters of a rectangle which is like that and to the center you don't want to draw the top because you don't really have to but you will after you erase uh, I, uh, when you erase it, it should look like that. And you draw a line like this. Let me clean it up though. And that is the area that uh, the shells will come out of when you pull it back. Um, so you got the uh, end of the barrel, the hammer, the top part of the uh, body, the uh, 
part that makes the bullets come out or the uh, shells and you got the grip now over here on the back by the hammer but still on top not on the angle you want to uh, kind of like make a half of a house shape or something like this by the hammer right here it's about a half a house it goes up over down uh, or you can go like this Like, it's kind of like what uh, real pistols have, uh, or different kinds of them have different ones, but right there. And uh, there's another part for the other side that is also on it, just you can't really see it. And in the front, you want to make a shape like this. Yeah. Kind of like a recliner, a really stretched out recliner. And that's the front part of the site. Um, now, you want to go in the front about an inch back make an oval like that and just go back till you get about where the uh, cotton grip is I'm gonna do it about a half an inch before I get there And uh, that's the under part of the barrel. Now you want to uh, kind of go like that on, on the back. Except for more like that. That is where you go, like when you grab it, it's like this and that part comes off of back here a little bit and you just want to come down if you want you can like kind of put finger slots or something there like this um, let, me, let me make those a little bit uh, more noticeable like that then you want to make something like this right here that is part of the trigger yard and uh... on the bottom part of the barrel right here uh... when you draw that you want to round it off where it's uh, gonna end at the grip area or around the grip area so uh, you want to make uh, one of those that's backwards like you would find on your uh, keyboard on the 9 and the 0 but it would be like 0 first then the 9
and uh, then you kind of want to make a circle or an oval like that. Right here. Hey, I'm confused. It's kind of like a mirror. Uh, then you want to make the trigger. Like that. Or however you want to make it. So there's that. Now you can make the rest of the grip for the uh, handle. I forgot about that part. Since I'm doing the fingers, I'm going to make the grip the same way, kind of. Then you want to put two screws. You can do Phillips or a flathead. And lines going across diagonally like this and do the same thing just have them going the opposite way that way it kind of gives like a, a diced look Okay. And now, if you want, you can put an extended clip on it. I'm not going to, but I am going to make the end of the clip. Like this. And, uh, oh, what else? You can put the, uh, Clip release. Actually, yeah, you can do that. The clip button. I'm gonna uh, shorten the trigger guard like that, so that way I can stick the safety uh, switch in there. Um. So there's that. You can gray it in the gun or do whatever you can color it um if you want you can even uh put a uh, silencer on the end of it um but that's pretty much it for the uh, pistol now for the grenade you're gonna want to make an oval shape and make some lines going down look like that and you can put some going over and kind of have them going off the side just a hair a bit that's going to be so that way you can do the next step alright and it will look like this Yeah, I had the things going off the edge a little bit uh, over here. Um, I did it all around. You can also do it on the bottom of the uh, grenade and right here uh, in those two areas at the top because 
if you do it any further, you're gonna make it to where you can't really stick the uh, part that has the handle and the pull pin. And you just wanna go like that, like I did on the top, all the way down the thing, and put little spaces in between so it looks like they're spaced out a little bit. But to make it quicker, I'm just going to make it go down. And you can also kind of, instead of putting the spaces, make them into bumps. don't want them bumps to be too big. I kind of made mine a little bit too big. Alright, like that. Then you want to make a square or something up at the top. Like that. And, uh, we're going to go ahead and stick the handle on. Actually make that a little bit skinnier. And I just color those in. Especially if there's a bunch of lines from where I was making it about the right size. Uh, maybe turn that square into more of a rectangle. Actually, mine was a little bit of a rectangle, but now it's a square. Uh, if you don't have enough room to stick the pin, now you stick it like that. I either go like this at the end of it or like this well actually not not like that it'd be like like that I did it the, the, the wrong way um, I'm just going to do like the arrow pointing that way, or away from it, about towards the handle of the gun where I'm putting it, and you stick the pull pin uh, ring on there, and I shade the thing in. It was supposed to kind of like go from dark to uh, just a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter to just like really, really light gray. Uh, there's the uh, made uh, black. And let me know if you want more videos about how to draw weapons. I know a few. Uh, maybe I'm trying to think of something else. Maybe survival kit. Uh, see you later.